This illustration deals with the introduction in accordance with Article 90 of the NEC. Let's start with the supply side. Let's start where the National Electrical Safety Code applies, and let's start with the generating plant, left-hand side uh, top of the illustration. Uh, and the title uh, with the arrow drawn is generating plant. Now notice a voltage would be generated uh, to transformers uh, that are located at the generating plant. Now we may have as uh, high as 250 to 350 kV on those transmission lines you see on the towers where it says metal towers supporting high voltage overhead lines. Now, that high voltage uh, transmission lines would uh, uh, transmit the high voltage into the substation that you see. And the substation would step that down to a, a distribution voltage, maybe uh, uh, 4160, uh, 13,800, uh, 13,200. Uh, 12,470, whatever the distribution voltage was for that line. Now notice that distribution voltage, let's just say it's uh, 4160, 2400 volts. At that transformer on the pole next to the building, it would be stepped down to uh, 120, 208, 277, 480, or maybe a delta open or closed connected transformers that was previously uh, reviewed in the Stalkup's generator transformer motor and compressor book. But notice the standards now that would uh, regulate the supply side. Uh, not covered by the NEC, but by, uh, by these three standards, the supply, uh, uh, voltage would be covered and that would uh, naturally be number one, the National Electrical Safety Code. There in the construction of the generating plant, the towers, the transmission lines to the substation construction, to the distribution construction of the lines using utility poles, 1926 of OSHA subpart V would apply. Now once the, all this construction has been accepted, by the utility, then notice OSHA 1910.269 subpart R would apply. Now that kind of takes care of the supply side and notice three main standards are listed. Now on the load side would be uh, basically where the drop uh, conductors, the service drop connects to the conductors at the weatherhead uh, at the building location, and that would be the service point. And then notice the NEC would take over. And, uh, and it really wouldn't matter if this, uh, if this office, uh, facility, or garage, warehouse, and so forth belonged to the utilities. It would still be covered by the NEC in accordance with 90.2A as an ample four. Now we just uh, covered earlier the layout of the code and the uh, uh, sec uh, articles uh, and chapters that would uh, cover the installation of the wiring methods and the equipment that would be installed inside that building. But once the equipment, the wiring methods and so forth inside the building along with the construction of the building has been approved by each inspector for each category uh, uh, building, construction, uh, electrical, plumbing, heating, uh, electrical, and so forth. Then these three main standards, uh, along with others, would be applicable. But let's look at the three main ones. The NEC first, naturally. And then you would have OSHA 1926 subpart K that would deal with all the wiring inside the building and the wiring to the equipment and the wiring of the equipment and so forth. Once the equipment has been wired, the uh, facility owner has accepted that equipment, it's been approved by the authority having jurisdiction for each craft, in this case maybe the electrical by subpart K, then OSHA 1910 subpart S takes over to maintain the equipment. 
but while working on energized parts to put them into electrically safe work condition, an FPA 70E would apply. And of course, for maintenance, along with 1910 subpart S, uh, we previously know from our experience as electricians, also an FPA 70B applies if you're a maintenance electrician. So this is the standards that would be applicable uh, on the load side uh, based upon it being load and not having anything to do with the supply side, but only the load side. Now, the introduction, Article 90, uh, deals with the layout of the supply and load side and which standards would be applicable to each side.